Good afternoon. Gunas Chish. In Klinkit, this means thank you very much for inviting us here today. My name is Carolyn Hirsema. My given Klinkit name is Kok Agech. I am from the Sayahwan Nahari Ari, Saxman, Alaska. And we have four of my children and I have nieces and nephews who, are, who danced with us for many, many years. Long ago, when we started performing in the Seattle area, we were dancing at the Daybreak Star. We did the uh, Kingdom many, many years ago, opening the uh, aquarium. We danced all over Seattle. My parents went to France, which is our sister city, and they performed over there for him. We'd like to do a few performance songs for you. And again, I would like to say Gunas Chish and thank you all for inviting us here today. Cook. <laughs> discussion here. It's so short. This next one we'd like to do for you is called the Chief Welcome Song. Many, many years ago when my mother and I and my grandmother and grandparents were all in the village and we'd be singing this song and it was to welcome the people that have come from the canoes, maybe from town, Maybe our aunties and uncles, they all came in to visit. So this is how we're going to welcome in at the beginning of our potlatch. Cook! Many, many years ago, we would sing this peacemaking song. And when we're in a village and we have an argument, 
It might be with your, your husband, maybe your wife, children, aunties, uncles, whoever you have a disagreement with. We would sing this song and make amends, and we'll call it a day. Goodness, tish. This one is called Our Giveaway. Long time ago when we were singing this song, when we'd have potlatches, we would have the opposite clan. They would be, we would be singing this song to the opposite clan as we're handing out the gifts that they gave, we give for the potlatches that we had had. Sometimes it's the opposite clan, many times it's for attending. And we're paying homage to each and every person that came, that was invited to our potlatch. Kule. This next one we'd like to know if anybody would like to come up and do a couple dance or do a dance with us. It's really easy. Have any volunteers? The song we're going to be singing for you is called Ginewa. It's to wish you farewell. Gunashish again for inviting our dance group here. And when the drummers start drumming, we're gonna clap our hands and beat of the drum. Guk.
These two ladies here, my oldest daughters, Candace and the tall one, and the youngest one, Cecilia, come here. The reason I'm bringing Cecilia up here is because um, I'd like to introduce you to her. Her name is Cecilia Simbolin Hirsama, and she is going to be the next generation dance leader for the Cape Fox, and I'm going to be retiring. Woo! I won't necessarily be retiring, but I'll, she's going to be taking over for me, thank I goodness. I my mom, it's time. She's an elder. <laughs> okay, her, her clinket name is? She, which is my, my mother, Cecilia White, who started the dance performance in 1973 here in Seattle area. I had my mother, Cecilia White, my father, George White, and we are from such a small village that when we started s singing and dancing here in the Seattle area, there wasn't very many of us. It was just our family. And then we brought and met Carol Brown and her family, which is all of these. Uh, who dance with uh, Gehon, Gehon dancers. But they, all four of these on this side, they've been dancing with us since they could walk. So we've known them, They're, they've been our family forever. And all of my children have been dancing since they could walk also. We have Karen here. Karen Elliott, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Karen Elliott. Um, I'm from the Raven, Moaiti, and Tequinati. Um, actually, my family is Fred and Marion. My dad danced up here, and um, we're from the Klawak um, and Heidelberg. Karen had just started dancing with us. Mandy? Hi everyone, I'm Amanda. I'm with Kate Fox and Get Home, and I'm Eagle Clan. All right, now I will start the hand. Yay! And now everybody, the Get Home Dancers. Some honey snoozum, the will survive gaudium, the will needs a go will allow get home. Gwa. Thank you, all of you, for gathering today to watch my dance group to get home. We are the people of the salmon. We are a Simsian group, but we are made of Clinket Haida and Simsian people. We hope that the songs and the dances that you will see today will touch your heart. They are in their makeup, very, very old, 
but because of the influence of missionaries and governments, we won't get into too much. Um, <laughs> most of the songs uh, I wrote or were written by my son or uh, of someone from this generation. So, why what? Gosh, will hand hook me out! I grew up in a village, oh good, the guys are going to be here, I'll talk fast. I grew up in a village of Metlakatla, which is in, near Ketchikan in southeast Alaska. The village was founded by a Christian missionary from British Columbia who brought my people in 1887 from British Columbia to Alaska. And one of the things that they had to do was sign a piece of paper that said, we are giving up all of our Indian deviltry. That was the quote. So I grew up in a village where none of this existed until I, st I gave the first potlatch to start this over again in 1982. I raised the first totem pole. <laughs> you know, I didn't do it alone, but I did it to honor my grandmother. After she passed, I carved a totem pole for her and to honor my grandfather to tell him, yeah, yeah, thank you very much for raising me. This is our only old song. This one is in the, was written in the 1800s. This is a chief's headdress dance that welcomes you to this land. We also have take the time to thank the Salish people, the Coast Salish people, for allowing us on their land to, to uh, celebrate this day.
In 1982, we gave the first potlatch in my village. I was walking down the street three days before the potlatch was to start. By the way, potlatch, for those of you who don't know what it is, potlatch is our system of notary public. We have guests. They come. Everything we do, we do publicly. We pay the guests with gifts for their witness and we feed everybody more than they can eat. In doing that, we put a stamp of legality on whatever claims, a new chief, a house built, a name given, an adoption, all that stuff. So that's, that's what a potlatch was. The word potlatch is a corruption of a Kwakwakiwak uh, word that means to give. Three days before that first potlatch in 1982, I was walking down the street in Metlakatla, my village, and someone stopped me and said, Hey, David, when's your potluck? <laughs> and send a chill right down my back because I had so much to do, so much to teach my own people. It was very hard because I had no elders I could go to. The, like I said, the missionary, the elders that I, when I was growing up were the children who whose parents followed the missionary and they gave up everything just so they could so they could be uh, productive citizens in in the new Alaska but uh, we lost a lot because of that the next song we're going to do our women are going to dance this was this is called walking in the footsteps our women are going to clear a path for the, for the younger generation so that that younger generation can not only walk down this cultural path, but run down that cultural path. These guys played a trick on me. They were ready for the next dance. <laughs> so you don't get to hear my next story. How lucky for you. It's hard for me to, ha to talk and talk and talk when I've been ordered not to for um, so many years. <laughs> this next song is, ca is, is uh, called a land song. In this song, we honor the Salish people of this land on which we, on which we dance. This song was written and given to me by a young Clinkett woman, uh, Alison Bremner, who is a member of our dance group, but she's not with us today. And this song, uh, the, the guys are carrying staffs that represent the four Simpsian crests. We are a matrilineal uh, tribe with four matrilineal crests, eagle, raven, wolf, and killer whale. Whatever your mother is, that's what you are. So this is 
This is called The Land Song. The little fellow you see dancing up here, it's my grandson Sage, he's dancing with his father and his uncles, his cousins, uh, he's, he's learned a great deal watching and dancing with them since about, well, before he could walk he was singing and, drum and drumming. One of the things that is so different about Gidhon, People of the Salmon, this dance group, I've had this dance group now since 1986, but something happened in the last couple of years there were a whole bunch of babies born. <laughs> and, and it's changed the whole look and tenure of my, of my dance group. And there's, there's three more right there that are going to be stepping in pretty soon down in front to, to uh, join the girls. We have three, three girls this age. Here they are. And you know, it's, it's really kind of cool how veteran they are already, you know? They know, they know. Watch them, watch them. The next song we're going to do for you is one of our four crest songs. This one honors the killer whale people. Oh, 
So I guess you like it so far? Very good. We work really hard. You know, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of these young people for their singing and dancing for you. The language, Somalia, the language of the Coast Simpson people. That's what I'm speaking. I could be going, I could be going, Mary had a little, la but it doesn't have the impact, you know, uh, of our, that our own language has. And the other thing is, there are more, this is true, there are more people in this room by twice that can speak my language lift, left on the planet. Think about that. That's why I use it, because I have no one to talk to, so I'm trying to teach teach these others and I like to hear it in the air. I like to hear our language in the air. It's a, it's a beautiful language. Yeah. The down is a powerful expression of peace between our people and you. A long time ago, thank you, you have such good questions, you must be in charge of this facility. Um, <laughs> you, you, heard, you heard that, yeah. But you know what? My wife is really doing good. I see her. The next song is ready right outside your door. I forgot what I was... What was oh, oh. Um, so a long time ago, the only way to get to any of our villages was by canoe. And all the villages were set so that you had to approach from the water. And when you approach, you never let the canoe touch the sand until you have sung a song or done a dance, something like the one there, and then the people on the, on the beach would answer back and say, yes, it's fine, you can come ashore. Otherwise, you know, you just might be some problems. So, um, the next song we're gonna do for you is our second of the matrilineal clan songs. This one was traded to me by Christine Martin, who is a Simpson dance leader from Vancouver, British Columbia. Actually, she's from Port Simpson, which now is called Lach uh near Prince Rupert in, in our country, in, in uh, Canadian uh, territory. So this one is the Raven Song. Thank you. 
Before I introduce our next song, as, you, as I told you, they have a couple miles to go to our masks. Um, potlatches are, are the hub of our wheel. Clinkett, Haida, Simsian, all three, all the Northwest Coast people from this area all the way up to, to Yakutat, Anchorage. Potlatches were where stories were told, family histories were told, nephews took over for their uncles. It wasn't father, son, it was, it was uncle, nephew, because the, the clan, the, of the clan system. So an uncle was the brother of the boy's sister, I mean of the boy's mother. So they, so that's how you would get things handed down. Um, there's some folks in the front row here. I, I didn't realize there was going to be four killer whales from the clans all when I invited them, but uh, it just turned out that way. And, and one solitary mama raven with her little raven. And that's a little killer whale there, that little boy. His daddy is one of the dancers. He's one of our dancers. A long, long time ago, long time ago, Thursday, <laughs> there was a, a little creature called Mouse Woman. Mouse Woman was a magical creature who could change her shape. She could be a little mouse. She could be a tiny little uh, elder lady. She could be other things, too. In this case, and that's not her. <laughs> in, in this story, Mouse Woman comes to the rescue of a berry picker, a fisherman, and a warrior to warn them of the evil cannibal giant, Baush, who was, who was terrorizing the countryside. And as you will be able to see in this story, he is the ancestor of the mosquito. Mouse woman knows what men will do. Mouse woman knows what the spirit will do. Those who listen will live long and prosper. Those who don't will suffer and die. Mouse woman knows what men will do. Way -o, way -o, way -o. Thank you all so much. Aren't you people in the middle there glad you stayed? <laughs> they were leaving. I said, no, don't leave. Don't leave. You'll miss out. Okay. You having fun so far, right? 
You can tell we're having fun. We love what we do, right? These, these young people are very, very proud uh, of their culture and what they've learned. I'm looking forward to these girl, little girls here taking their, their mothers and their aunties and their grandmothers' uh, spots as time goes by. It's pretty much guarantees that I got to live to 90 because <laughs> I want to I want to see that. Okay. We um, I was going to tell a story. But I forgot what it was. We're going to uh, do the third of the Crest songs. And this song I wrote in 1994 to honor my grandfather at a four-day potlatch that we gave in my village. Uh, we fed a thousand people a night for four nights. We raised three totem poles and dedicated 55 new button robes uh, over that three-day period. Um, the, the dancers, that when they do come out, they, they represent the Eagle Clan and the strength, the strength of the clan. And I'm just noticing that I need to talk a little bit longer. Um, the village of... Yes, ma'am. That was a gift that was given to me uh, at, at uh, a celebration in Juneau, Alaska in 2018. Uh, my son gave it to me uh, a, as a sign of respect for the 20 years that I led this dance group. And uh, what, they, what they represent in the old days, uh, back in the 1800s, was only the only people who could wear these cedar uh, neck rings were people who belonged to chiefly societies or, or uh, secret societies uh, that, that were prevalent uh, during those days. But now, these days, when you see people wearing them, they are a, a kind of a badge of honor, a, a badge of leadership. Good question. OK. Um, yeah, Eagle Spirit.
A long, long time ago, not Thursday, a long, long time ago, our people lived in long houses, cedar houses that, that, that housed up to 10 or more families. And they had a central fire pit, which was the only uh, a light in the, in the house, and then they had a smoke hole uh, for the smoke to go up through the, through the smoke hole. And so when th the dances that we are performing for you now were done in the old, old days, and I pattern all of the things that I do after the ancient ones and the, the way they used to do that, all the research I've done in museums at the masks, recreating these masks. Um, I made all the masks, by the way, except for one that my son, my son made the Baush, the monster mask. But anyway, if you were in one of those long houses a long, long time ago, and you were watching a potlatch, uh, the ceremonies and the dancing and, the, and, and that, you would see things with a little more magic, you know, because it was kind of dark. So I want all of you to go like this. No, no, just, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Just, because that would make it darker in here, you know, just like that. I almost got a joke across that time. Yeah, you did. Good try. Good try. Are they Next ready? Time. Are they ready, Amanda? I don't see them. Okay, okay. So, so, oh, here they come. It's so, um, uh, we are, I was already, the boss already told me, yeah. Um, so you have to come back for the next show to see the songs we're not going to do right now. Um, yeah. So the next song we're going to do is called Spirit of the Potlatch. In this dance, the spirit of our ancestors are going to come to this room to see what we're doing, see if we're doing things right. Watch for the magic in their eyes. A long time ago, again, a chief was hunting and he was having a terrible time finding anything to hunt. Now, I realize there are a bunch of children in this room, uh, so I'm going to make this more PG than R. Um, so he went home and he confronted his wife and he said, you are misbehaving. And she admitted, yes, I am. 
and she found they he found the man that she had been misbehaving with and did away with him the mother of the man who was done away with came and said to the chief i would like my son back and the chief did said no no way and so she said well you must come with me to take his place what the chief discovered then was this was a nachnoch, a spirit guardian, the wolf people. He was a he was a supernatural wolf that he had that the man had killed. So the chief went with the mother of the wolf to the land of the wolves, and lived there for many years. And when he returned to the Simshian people, my people, he brought the wolf clan to our people. This is an origin story about how we got the wolf clan, and what you are about to see is the physical uh, representation of the right to use the wolf clan among the, among the wolf people. We're just about done. We're going to do uh, one short song that leads right into our exit. I want to I wanted to say that uh, we are proud to be here for my wife's brother Steve and his partner. Good people. We miss Steve. I want to also say that the song we're going to do last is in honor of my sister-in-law, my wife's sister Cindy. Every time we dance, it's six years ago last week that we raised a totem pole for her at Northwest Hospital after she passed uh, of cancer. So it's very important that every time we have a performance, I say her name, Cindy James. I, I say that because I don't want anyone to ever forget what a wonderful friend she was to me, what a beautiful person, and what a great sister. And we are, we are just as proud to stand in front of you and celebrate Steve on this day. And this show, we hope you all had a chance to go see that wonderful show upstairs. Um, stand up, young man. This is the guy who got us here. This is the guy who, who uh, is in charge of this place. He's a, he, he, go ahead, give him a... He needs, a, he needs a pat on the back, a handshake, and a hug because he's a really good human being. And uh, w we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him.
The next song we're going to do for you, the next song we're going to do for you is, was written by my eldest son, David, who is in Alaska right now. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, he raised a totem pole in Juneau, Alaska, a beautiful totem pole representing the Simpson people. Uh, I'm bragging about him right now. He's also a, a city councilman in my village. I don't know why he wants to do politics. <laughs> but, but anyway, he wrote this song, and then we're going to go into the song that he also wrote for, uh, to honor Cindy. The last song we're going to do honors Cindy. Oh, yeah, hi, uh, oh, yeah, hi, hey, hi, uh, you, hey, hi, uh, dim, lu, yet, gu, gaina, gua, uh, liggy, lip, and dad, dim, will, the gold, um, to sarait, yeah, had a sarait, ha, well, I dim, will, as good, will, shall, Ho ye hi ya, ho ye hi, hey hi ya. Uh. 